Welcome to WebStar Press. Find the largest number in an array in JavaScript. It is a common JavaScript interview question. In this video, we will look into that. Before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, to do that, let's define a JavaScript function called find the largest number that takes in an array items as an argument. Initialize a variable named as largest and assign it the value of the first element of the array items. This is done to ensure that there is an initial value for the largest before the for loop starts. Its final value will be returned as the result. Start a for loop that starts at the index 1 of the array, the second element. First element in the array has index 0, second element has index 1. So start from index 1 of the array, then iterate until the end of the array. The loop variable i is used to access the current element of the array in each iteration. Inside the for loop, there is an if statement that compares the value of the current element items i with the current value of the largest. If the current element is greater than the largest, the value of the largest is updated to the current element items i. When the for loop completes, the final value of the largest will be the largest number in the array. So return largest. The function should return the final value. Define an array with the elements. Call the function find largest number and pass the array as an argument. It will return the largest number in the array that is 100 in this case. Okay, there is another short way of doing it. Define a JavaScript function called find largest that takes in an array as an argument. Inside the function, use the mathmax method. Mathmax method is used to find the highest value in a set of numbers. The math.max method takes in any number of arguments and returns the highest value among them. The spread operator allows an iterable such as an array to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments are expected. So in this case, it spreads out all the values of the array, making them individual arguments for the math.max method. So, call the function and pass the array as an argument. This array. It will return the largest number in the array. In this case, the function will return 100 as it is the largest number in the array. This implementation is more concise and easy to understand than the previous one and it is also more efficient. Both the implementations are correct but the first one will work with older browsers as well because it doesn't require spread operator but this one is efficient and concise. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.